Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best webcam. Starting at number 3, Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000. If your budget is unforgiving, Microsoft's LifeCam HD 3000 may give you the most bang for the least buck. At less than half the price of the LifeCam Studio, this Skype certified webcam still delivers HD video. It's not business call quality, but it should get the job done in more casual settings. The biggest challenge I faced with the HD 3000 was its setup. I found it tough to get a snug attachment to my laptop display, so positioning it took a lot of trial and error. Sometimes when I got it where I wanted it, the tension of the attached USB cable would pull it out of whack. The process was further complicated by the fact that the camera doesn't have any vertical tilt. So, at one point when I got the mount in a stable position, the camera was pointed at my forehead. The only recourse was to pull my laptop screen toward me to get the camera level. Once in place, though, the HD 3000 worked pretty well. The image was clear and well balanced, and video playback was smooth. Obviously, you don't get the same detail as with a 1080p camera, though that also means things like facial lines and other skin imperfections are less apparent. I did notice that every time I moved my head, the image would blur. Even slight movement caused noticeable fuzzing of the image. This didn't occur with the higher-end cameras I tested or with my laptop's built-in camera, and it quickly got distracting. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2, Logitech C270 Desktop. Those of us in our 30s, and older, will remember how much it used to cost to buy something that could make video. And of course, those same people remember how hard it was to handle, edit and share that video. Now, for less than £20 you can have a camera that makes video and streams it all over the world, allows you to see distant family and does all of that in HD. The small lens is located on the left, and next to it is a microphone on one side, and a green LED to let you know when you're broadcasting video. A USB cable runs out of the back, and has a decent length too, so you won't be too restricted about where you put the camera. As with most webcams, even those that claim to be HD, the picture is not all that brilliant. It might have a 1280 by 720 frame size, but it's not packed full of detail. Indeed, we found images from the C270 to be very soft. There's lots of noise from compression too, with noticeable blocking on certain areas. At night, when you're using artificial lighting things are bright enough, but the cost of that is extra noise, we noticed blue sparkles and blocking. Perhaps the best way to describe it, is that it's a lot like looking at a VHS recording. It very much has that feel and style to it. And number one of this list, Logitech Brio Ultra HD Webcam. Right now, you don't really need a 4K webcam, since Skype and most other online video conferencing services don't support that higher resolution. But the Logitech Brio is there for the future, when super-fast internet connections will make 4K streaming commonplace. Logitech bills the Brio as the ultimate webcam, and that's hard to contradict, with its unmatched resolution, high dynamic range, support for Windows Hello Face login, and dual mix. It's worth its high price tag, so it's our top pick for webcams. For personal or professional use, the Brio is as modern, clean, and stylish a webcam as I've ever seen, measuring 1 by 4 by 1 inches and weighs 2.2 ounces. Its long clip attached easily and securely to the top of the 4K touchscreen of my Asus ZenAI Pro Z249 all-in-one PC. A privacy flip cover is also included to keep unwanted eyes from spying on you. In the box, there's a 4.9 foot USB 3.0 to USB-C cable, which you need for full 4K. You also get a cloth carrying bag, in case you want to take the webcam along with you to beef up the inferior webcam of a remote system or a laptop. It's important to note that while Windows 8 and 10 come with native support for USB 3.0, that is not the case with Windows 7. So, if your system runs Windows 7, be prepared to download drivers for USB 3.0 hardware. All of these items are available on Amazon. 
I have included all the links in the description. You can check out these links for more information and latest price. Guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe.